December 27th. I'm back out with Steve Klein. I'm still angry, Steve. Got our butts kicked on the river in the last video. Now today I expect to catch a fish. Okay? I expect to too. Did you hear that? Did everybody hear that? Steve just promised a boatload of fish, didn't you? <laughs> he did. He did. He here it comes. Got one. First one of the morning. Promised the boat load of fish. There's the first one. <laughs> and you caught him. And he did it. In the actual ice. Yeah. Yeah. On the rig? No. Yeah, but I got one alright. Look at this too, man. Oh, you got that. Yeah, yeah. They do live down there. We need bigger baits. Yeah. <laughs> See, that ain't exactly what I had in mind when I said load the boat and fish. Yeah, I know. I I'm gonna call reinforcements here pretty soon. Where there's perch, there's bass. Is that the same? That's what they say. Okay. Steve Klein, I got news for you. Damn. You're fired. I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys end up getting any bass over there? Well, I, I call the reinforcements now. You got my main man, Terry Schottmer. He didn't tell you that I caught one. <laughs> he caught one over a He caught a bass and a perch, and I hooked a shed. And for, Steve promised a boatload of fish. So we called in Terry Shaw. You remember him? When he absolutely annihilated uh, an epic fall day fishing, uh, what are we going to call it? Day of fall fish. But Terry, here we are, December 27th, 38 degree water. Let's see your magic. This morning? Yeah. Now you just gonna cast towards the bank or you cast out of it? Just casting out. It's all about the same depth all through here. So we can cast bank with direction. You know where Cornet goes? There he is. He must have just stopped at it. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. A, lot of, so, a lot of good green weeds. I was gonna say, do you think fish are relating to weeds? I think. <laughs> oh, it feels a little better. Oh, another December bass. <laughs> oh my gosh. On a spoon. You got <laughs> Speed clip. So you get real just slow enough. Yeah. Steve Klein. Thanks for showing us how to fish here. Yeah. <laughs> and while I'm doing this, I'm just keeping my rod tip up a little bit. Just reeling fast enough to twirl it. Every once in a while I'll just flirting it. I think that's when they're hitting a lot of time. See how it's just flopping in the water? Yeah. But what I do this time of year, I'll hold my rod up about 10 o'clock, and as you're reeling it, so as you're reeling it in, just sit there and reel by like this, and every once in a while, I'll give it a little flutter. And a lot of times, that's when they crack, especially this time of year. Now, you get in the spring where it's a little bit warmer, you can just throw it out and reel it in. And they'll pump it. Talk to you, Terry. Yeah, he got the weeds on. He's fighting good anyway. Yeah, he's, he must have just slapped at it. Ugh. Yeah, you got it. Any idea why these fish slap at the bait so often, Terry? I, my guess is just because of the cold water. It's just it's a reaction bite. Yeah, it's not, they're, they're not necessarily feeding, there's a reaction. They're coming up. Well, they might be doing both, but the water's so cold. They, Maybe misjudge where the bait's at, or... Oh, look at there. He's a cute little one, Steve. He's a cutie. Andy Buss has got a fish. Oh. Andy Buss got... <laughs> What'd you say? Andy Buss has a fish. What are you so surprised about? It's not a piece of wood, is it? <laughs> oh, oh, my gosh. Well, he didn't bite it. I snagged him, so, uh, you know. That's, that's Andy Buss' fish for you. Yeah. Thank you, Terry Schammer. He must have slapped at it. Yeah, he slapped at it, all right. Yeah, that's what happens. Rely on Steve Klein. I had to fire him, bring in the, <laughs> the enforcer, Terry Schottmer. 
Okay. Yeah, this little guy. But he ate this one. There was no snacking on this one, oh, is there? In the mouth, Steve Klein. What do you say, huh? Good, Andy Boss. He actually got one to bite. Yeah. Is he? Hundred fish. Hundred fish. You know, actually, a couple years ago, I questioned myself because I'll use it a lot of times in the spring and late fall, and then. I don't use it in the summer. I questioned myself a couple years ago. Stupid, why don't you use it in the summer? Yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's mimicking a minnow. Of course. So, we was over, me and Sean was fishing a tournament over at Maxie one time. You know? Maxie. And you know that fall bite when it's, it's weird. You know, it's either on or it ain't. So we had a couple in the boat, man, it was just real slow. That, what the heck, I brought a spoon and we'll pick it up. First fish I put in the boat was about 17 inch large now. And a couple minutes later, Sean's like, well, you ever catch a smallmouth on? Yeah. Boom, about so 17 inches You're about to, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. And well, we I just have... sat there, and it wasn't a fast and furious bite, but nothing was. So I sat there between this spoon and a spy bait. I put about a 12, 13 pound lemon in the boat. All on yeah. that. All on that. You know, it ain't big, but it's fish in 727. Hey! Hey! Oh, thanks, Terry. Wow, thanks, Terry. Okay. Feels all right, Terry. But you got you a good. piece of wood? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Two before. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he even ate it. No snagging, nothing. Carry fry that thing. Unbelievable. So what's unique about this area, rest assured, it's, uh, well, that's it, I believe it's the water temperature, it's extremely shallow, it's so shallow my side imaging, my sonar really isn't registering anything, here's what it looks like under the surface. one right there. What are you catching them on? A spoon. A spoon. A spoon. It's December 27th, 38 degree water, three, no, two foot deep. And you're catching with a spoon. Yes, sir. Old school. So there you have it from the hunter fish. A new way to catch cold winter bass. I say new, it's not really new, it's old school. Them casting spoons have been out there for ages. But I think only pike fishermen use them nowadays, but obviously they still catch fish. What I'm excited to do, I'm sure you heard Terry talk about in the video, was to practice this or to use this bait in different seasons, especially in the pre-spawn. I'm super excited about the pre-spawn. But the way I look at it is oftentimes we're chasing fish with either lipless or crank baits or chatterbug. This is a great third alternative because our fish are heavily pressured already with lipless crankbaits and chatterbugs. So this gives another great alternative, especially when you get in water that's really too shallow to effectively work either of those two baits. This spot we were fishing, I'm sure you saw in the background, and what it is is a small, shallow bay. It's not big at all, but it's got sparse vegetation throughout, and the unique characteristics of it that I believe is hold the fish was really just that water temperature. It was a good three degrees, maybe three and a half degrees warmer than the rest of the lake, which is odd in all honesty. I don't know why it's warmer. My guess is the homes along the bank were warming it up to some degree. Something else I would point out about that spot, it's a very popular ice fishing hole. And if you've listened to me, watched me on YouTube for the last two years, something I hit over and over this time of year is if you're not sure where the fish go where it's popular to ice fish because bass go there too and they go there before the ice comes don't exit out of the video yet coming up are our sponsors but hey I got a couple of promo codes in the description for some of these sponsors as well as some great information in the description the description has links to baits that we used links to other relevant videos and links to these great sponsors that I have that are just begging for you to give them a chance as well. So until the next time, Hunter Fish, we're gonna see you on the water. 
he felt he felt heavy. Got him? Yeah, I got him. Oh, okay, Harry. There we go. He feels all right too. Hey, I'm gonna cast over there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, by the time I get them in, there'll be 12 other casts will come out. Uh, yeah. You know why he feels so good? Because he's foul hooked. I got him in tail. I think. He's a good fish though. Yeah, he ain't too shabby, is he? Come here, come here, come here, come here. Yeah! <laughs> now that is, that's a heck of a way to carry fry it. <laughs> carry fry it from behind. I feel bad for him. <laughs> yes! 